Oke, okay, mina balik kita sa program kang Inside Bicol and ang satu yang bisita yu si Boy Lovro, Chef Boy Lovro. Uh, Boy, let's continue the discussion. You are now in the kingdom of uh, royalties. No? Yes. Uh, I'm sure that uh, marami kang natutunan yan, especially yung pag-prepare, yung, uh, yung paglagay ng mga mga utensils. Yes. And that's going to be a great... Uh, ano bang ano, kwento mo dyan? Parang ano, parang isang panaginip hmm. na doon ako nag-aral, kumbaga sa ano, from nothing to na-uplift yung buhay ko. Kasi nga, the king of Oman is talagang royal uh, British colony kasi ang ano nila ang ano ni His Majesty yes. kasi ang Oman is a British colony no before, yes. before so kumbaga sa ano kuno yung sa Great Britain yung kanilang standard sa dining how to set the, the utensils uh, how do you serve about Russian or French etc lahat then food styling doon ako nag-aral sa mga kasama ko na talagang napakaganda So, from there, uh, daily routine ko, nag-ibag-mingling ako sa mga French, mm. Italian, marami kami ng chef eh. Um, Thailand, mayroon kami ng uh, Indian, Moroccan, Egyptian. So, napakarami namin. We're about, about 65. 65? Yeah, 70 uh, chefs okay. sa palasyo. So, doon ako nag-aaral para pang kailangan matututunan ko to. Kaya lang, bilang sous chef, oh. ako yung talagang gumagawa ng menu. Mm -hmm. Ang sabi ng aking uh, uh, binaka-protocol ng His Majesty. Okay, uh, good morning, legal, legal, uh, chef. Now we have the new sous chef. Mm -hmm. Chef Pablo Logro. Kasi walang P. Uh, Pablo. Pablo. Kala mo, Pablo eh. <laughs> <laughs> Pablo. Okay, okay. Pablo Logro. Right. So, ginawa akong talagang, kumbaga, the man of the hour. Ako pala yun. Kaya doon ko naintindihan ng sous chef ay assistant to the executive mm -hmm. chef. Mataas na antas na yung level yun. So parang uh, nabi ko, ano gagawin ko rito? Kaya sabi ko, Lord, ikaw nang bahala, ano bang gagawin ko rito? So talagang mabait ang Panginoon. Ginahid niya ako ng host. Doon sa tingin ko natuto ka nung magluto, iba-ibang klase ng countries na ito. Yes, o oh, Arabian, right. Arabian, o mga halal food, okay. Italia, French, doon ako natuto. Oh, okay. Hanggat gumawa ko ng pagkain, na avocado, uh, um, avocado ox crevettes. Mm. Tinukya ko lang yung title ng French. Mm. Pero ginawa ko, stuffed avocado with shrimps. Okay. Ginawa ko ng maganda. Oh. Tinanggal ko yung laman. Tapos yung shell na half shell. Hindi ko, hindi ko inubos mm. na tinira ko ng konti. Niligyan ko ng lemon na tinaob ko para hindi maging uh, mangmangitim. Mm. Tapos yung laman, pinapuri ko with uh, feta cheese, cream cheese, uh, hot sauce, mm. may shrimp. Okay. Tapos yun ang pinalagay ko doon. Okay. At nilagyan ko ng magandang hipo na pati yung ganyan, tapos nilagyan ko ng bulaklak. No is nerve case, Majesty. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, I would suppose na hindi lang talaga sa pagluto, even yung presentation. Oh, yes. Oo. Oh, kailangan yun. No? Kailangan yun. Presentation. Kapag no? na what you see in your eyes, right. it goes to your stomach. Hindi lang sa amin luto. Kasi dito, luto lang. Dandyan oh, na. Oo. Eh. Mayroon yeah. ding ano, May garnish. May technique pala yun. Mayroon. May garnish at saka yun. yung uh, presentations mo. Okay. So, ginawa ko yun, tapos na makita niya si Majesty at kinain niya. Oh. Pinatawag ako. Doon hmm. ako kinabahan. Sabi ko, uwi na to. Wala na eh. <laughs> Puro fake. <laughs> okay. Tapos na tinawag ako. Parang ganyan, nalabit ako. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, are you the one who prepared this kind of salad? Sabi ko, yes, Your Majesty. Tinititigan ako. Hmm. Effective today, you have to make everything as long as you are here during my meal time really for the rest of uh, for, uh, as long as you are here so okay. meaning 10 years ako doon ah 10 years ka 10 taon ko ginawa okay. isipin mo 10 taon <laughs> doon nagsimula <laughs> oh, tapos sinabi niya na okay miniti ngayon ng mga Arabo na effective today you are the mudir chef boy mm. he is the in charge so you have to respect to him untouchable ako mm. binigyan ako na sakyan na ng Berto Oklaka okay yung uh, His Majesty, binigyan ako ng bahay mm -hmm. para sa Forbes Beast Park ako. Okay. Ang katabi ko, mga, mga um, ambasador ng Pilipinas, ambasador doon kay Lira. Okay, now, despite all the success that you have, what is the reason why you came back to the Philippines? Well, Middle East is the Middle East. But of course, if you are there, you have to get the money from there, then you invest in our country. Nice. What a beautiful life. Right. Kasi doon, okay, nasa hotel ka, nasa palasyo ka, ganda ng buhay mo. Pero doon ka lang eh. 
Okay. You still like a, you know, meaning if you're if you want to be a mag 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 maintain ka ng parang trabaho ka ng trabaho, it's just like a slaves. Now if you work hard, you'll become a good manager. Right. So yan ang ginawa ko dito. I think uh, you have a very good purpose yan in working because a lot of our workers here talaga ang mindset nila is there but in your case you've learned you've gained experience you've gotten contacts you've also made some savings and you came back yes and now I understand sinishare mo ngayon itong experience definitely mo dito yes. sa uh, mga Pilipino oh. by you know uh, teaching them yes yung uh, cooking school, uh, school uh, ano so tingin ko maganda yan na uh, mm -hmm. isang bagay na former overseas workers bumalik dito mm -hmm. and then nagtuturo na. Yes. Okay. So, what keeps you busy now? Well, I have a lot of, of course, um, I'm the uh, endorser of Pagi Oil. Okay. I'm Pagi really Oil. proud to say that I'm the uh, partner, the trusted uh, chef of Pagi Oil because ito yung maganda eh. Mm -hmm. Kung meron kang endorser, right, of medyo madaling kita at medyo one time, big time. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, Pilmeco, ambassador of Pilmeco, and then endorser of other product of milk, whatever, like mm -hmm. Angel Canadensada. Then, some of the cooking demos in my school, mm -hmm. yun, yun school. Maganda. And then, definitely my school. Oh, you have a school? Yes, I have my culinary school in Cavite, Jeremy Cavite. Oh. Then I have in Davao. Oh, I see. Yeah. Okay. Then I have my restaurant. Very good. Alam mo, boy, I think uh, you have brought that level ng um, being a cook to a higher level. Because alam ko natin na noon, especially in Madrid. Kung mga ka dyan, hanap pa ng cook dyan. Parang kung sino-sino oh, ka. Oh, okay. Ipan tingin nila eh. Mm -hmm. But now, it's different. Uh, I think you have brought that level. To, in fact, uh, what I know is that a lot of uh, graduates, uh, even exclusive schools, would mm -hmm. like to... Uh, you know, enroll in uh, culinary, yes. not cooking, no? That's so, right. Tingin mo malaking bagay yan na, na ano. Okay, so yung school mo, anong mga uh, tuturo mo dyan? Well, sa akin, uh, this is a six-month diploma, culinary, composed of baking, pastry, hot food, carving, and then uh, food and beverage. Inclusive na siya. Okay. It's a diploma, accredited by TISTA. Okay. So the module that I'm using, uh, based to my experience, mm -hmm. I'm, I did a different ways of you know, training na hindi boring. Kaya nag-aaral sa akin, mayayaman, yung mga hindi nakagraduate ng uh, college na gusto nilang madagdagan ng kanilang kaalaman at talagang nagtitino dahil sa akin, parang simar seminarista. Uh, okay. Talking about personal life, lagi ko sinasabi sa kanila, what if wala na magulang mo, ano gagawin mo? So, maganda yan. Siguro po, dapat maglagay ka rin ng we'll talk to Baguio all. That they all should, should put one here in Bicol, especially dito sa Naga. Why not? Why Kasi not? alam ko, malamit dito mga, you know, um, interested dyan and cooking, you know. What? Wow, well. uh, ano bang basically tinuturo mo? Or, uh, you know, for those who would like to be a cook, just like mm -hmm. you. Ano bang mga dapat nilang tanda? Well, of course, una-una, hindi po pwede parang isang sipa. Three kicks ka agad. Mm -hmm. Isang sipa, ako lang. First move, tatlo. Ano agad? Mm -hmm. Of course, we have to start from the basic. First move mo is the basic how to cut. Mm -hmm. Cutting, hanggang sa sauces, hanggang sa preparation, up to the presentations. Mm -hmm. Ang kagandaan dito, hindi pwede biglain na magluto agad. Hindi. Mm -hmm. Tuturuan natin sila. The most important, unang-una, is attitude. Attitude. Imamood mo sila sa kanilang ugali na ito ang kusina. Mm -hmm. Mainit. Hindi madali. Mm -hmm. Pero kapag nandiyan ka na sa tugatog ng tagumpay, ang sarap namin, libre pagkain, malinis, malaki ang sweldo. Right. Tama. Diba? Oo. Oh. Now, what, what about, ang iba kasi ang sabi nila, hindi ko anya kaya yan kasi wala mga ingredients eh. Is that, I, do you consider this problem? No, no it's good. Okay. I love to prepare like what I did in the, the my TV shows. Mm -hmm. Ginagawa ko po yung local version. Halimbawa, ah, marjoram. but marjoram? So, you are adapted sa local of situation? Of course, so, mm -hmm. nabubuhay na rito ang time, nabubuhay na ang uh, uh, oregano, nabubuhay na rito ang tiragon. Mm -hmm. Lahat. Ang ating bansa ay napakaganda. Kulang lang sa teknolohiya. But of course, naganap na. Kaya maganda. Okay, so, hindi lang siguro nila alam. Hindi so, lang alam. Tama itong ginagawa mo, yes. pinapaalam mo sa kanila mm -hmm. na It should not be constrained porque wala kayo mga important na ingredients, hindi kayo makakaluto. Oo, oh, so, nagagawa na nagagawa. nagagawa. Mas maganda nga kung unique. Okay. Kaya yan ang gusto kong i-introduce sa Pilipinas na gagawin natin ang sarili natin ng ingredients, ipakakain natin sa mga banyaga right. na pwede natin i-compete sa ibang bansa na these are our food from Bicol, from Naga, na pwede natin i-market sa mga foreigners. Kasi, di ba, 
dati dati ang gusto natin steak mga ganon ngayon with the you introduce it is marami na ngayon sa mga Filipino food okay we will again pause for a while when we return we shall continue with our discussion don't go away.